Ready for this? Black Edition Bicycle Riderbacks, my final collaboration with Bicycle. So proud of these. Come a long way to make these happen. And uh, there's the inside of the tuck case. Let me show you guys one trick here. In order to do a time travel trick, you do need to have a few references. So we can shuffle up the cards. This can be any deck. And we'll take the top card, the six of spades. I want you to remember that the six of spades is on top and somewhere in the middle, we have the three of hearts. Now, if we take the three of hearts and the six of spades is on top, so if we take the three of hearts and we wind it up kind of like a gear or like a clock, right? And you kind of wind it a few times. You can then place it in the middle and because it's wound, it retains its place in time. Uh, here, I'll give you an example. We have the six of spades on top and we have the other card in the middle, but if we place the six of spades in the middle and rewind it the other way, well, what happens is it actually goes back to the beginning when I place the three of hearts in the middle and the six of spades was still on top. And that is a demonstration in time travel. Like this video. As mentioned, definitely check out the Black Edition Bicycle Riderback collaboration. You can get red, blue, and black all available at first.shop. Today we're looking at the Riddler Puzzle Box. I got this from Puzzle Master. If you guys want to check it out, I left the link below. And they hooked me up with this sweet looking Riddler Puzzle Box. Look at this. It is a sequential discovery puzzle as we'll find tools that'll help us to solve it. It says on the website that there is, that this is like a level eight, uh, which is really surprising because normally when major companies put out like a puzzle, it's probably like a level four or five. So we'll see about that. This is the detective version and then there's the regular version. I don't exactly know what the difference is. I probably should look that up but I'm sure we'll figure that out together. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into it. The Riddler puzzle. Let's take a look at all the sides as usual. We got side A, which is a bunch of little squares. The Riddler's question mark. On this side here, we've got, uh, I don't know, these things, whatever those are. Some type of uh, door that opens here. Over here we got uh, a dial. It seems like an old telephone dial that you can spell things with as well. Uh, we got some bolts over here. And then lastly, which I think, well, my guess is like the final thing is uh, a vault door here and some type of slit that we can slip something through. Nothing on the bottom. And that is all we get. So. I encourage you to like this video. Let's get started, see if we can solve this. By the way, aesthetically, super cool. Uh, weight of it is uh, not as heavy as it looks, but not as, like, it, it isn't the lightest thing in the world. But uh, definitely all these things that look like metal are plastic. So in case you were wondering, this is all plastic. If this was done in metal, the price tag would probably be 10 times what it is. So I like the idea of it being it looking like it weighs a lot um, and hopefully it handles in a way that uh, withstands my brute force as well. So we'll see. So one of these things has to give first. We are aware of that maybe here. Okay. This square maybe seems like it's the only thing that does something. Oh. Ah, boom. We have our first key, little question mark key. A question mark key. These ones don't move. Where would this go? I'm going here. What the hell? Interesting. Not sure what we're supposed to do with this just yet. Maybe we put it back in, but backwards. Does it matter which way it goes in? Doesn't seem like it matters. Okay. Okay, is there anything else on this thing? A number, perhaps? Oh, by the way, this vault only turns one direction. It does not turn the other way. So, there's that. 
Maybe 911? No. Oh. Is this shift? Okay, something shifts here. This here. This comes off. Not sure quite. Uh, not sure how quite yet, but definitely comes off. Huh. I did not expect to be stumped this early on because normally, you know, when there's a, a company like DC, uh, you know, one of these bigger sort of entities making a puzzle, they don't make it particularly uh, as difficult as a lot of puzzle solvers would like it to be uh, because, you know, it's trying to reach to a broader audience. But, I mean, so far, I have, I have no idea. Do I take this apart? What do I do here? What is this for? Is there a magnet on here? Oh, now this slides up. Yes. Okay, that wasn't actually so hard at all. We got a button. Oh, what have we here? Oh, this is heavy. What the hell? This is super heavy. This is a piece of like uh, Batman's uh, boomerang, the batarang. That is so cool. That is really heavy. Solid metal right there. And on the inside here, this is where the mystery starts, I presume. What looks to be a newspaper clipping. Let's open this up. Ooh. To open the vault, you must have the heart dial. You must have the heart. Dial the year when the bat got his start. Mystery Crusader Thwarts Murderer, and this is 1939. So I'm guessing 1939 is what we gotta press. And then before we do that, let's take a look what's in here. Ugh. Season's greetings. Welcome, friends, to your very own puzzle box made by me, the Riddler. To continue, you'll need to phone some friends. Forget the bats, call the birds and a cat, and start with your oldest friend first. Success is just a few clicks away. Bird, cat. Is he talking about the penguin and uh, cat woman? I don't know, we'll see. And then we've got these symbols here. I don't know what those mean either. So let's keep those aside. 1939, was it? Hmm. Oh wait, to open the vault. To open the vault, you must have the heart. Dial the year when the bat got his start. 39. Hey, that's what it was. Oh my God, more things. My goodness. Look at all these things right here. This is crazy. A lot of surprises. Hold the phone. We got another part of the Batarang. This is actually pretty cool. Whoa. Cool. This is an actual Batarang. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Lovely. All right, we have this, we have this, we have this. This we kind of solved, so we'll put that aside. There is a giant question mark there, look at that. Oh, and it's circling 39. All right, looks like we have some access cards here from Wayne Enterprises, Wayne Industries. Uh, so let's take these out. They have colors on them. This one has green. And it says Wayne, Bruce Wayne, the owner of Wayne Enterprises, okay. We also have from the office of, as uh, a business card, and crossed out as Bruce Wayne and Edward Nigma in place of Bruce Wayne, and a question mark, okay. And then we have here, Lucius Fox, president and CEO. And this has a question mark on the back of it. A lot of plastic packaging, get rid of all that. 
Oh, see? You put them together and it makes some type of, I don't know what it makes, but we'll see, we'll find that out. Line up the keys to success to claim your prize. Okay, so we line them up. Oh, you know what? Do we have to scan this in here? That's kind of cool. Here we go. Maybe the other way? It's not working. Yeah, that won't go. What else did we have here? That was it. This is our next clue. So half of it can fit in. Half of it fits in, but the other half doesn't. Even though we've lined them up like this. We line them up and you would think that maybe this doesn't go there at all though. Maybe this is for something else. Or is there a, a number on here or something? I don't see anything. I don't see anything sticking out to me here other than this. I mean, that's the really the only place it should be. Line up the keys. Line up the keys to success to claim your prize. Oh, here we go. Both of them are in now. Both are in. Both are now in, is this supposed to open here? Not sure, not sure. Couldn't I just do it this way? No, for some reason I can't. Weird. I'm just realizing now that when I did purchase this, I think this was supposed to come with a black light. I think that's what we're missing here. Part of the equation is, is we're missing a black light because if I look at this in a certain angle, I can see encoded lettering you can see it here if i uh, tilt the, even here look yeah there's things here oh man i mean it's fine we just need to find a black light i don't know if i have one here oh i see so the detective variant that i have requires a black light and i think they're supposed to give it to me i did not receive it which is unfortunate but uh the other variation of this game basically all the things that you're seeing like here you're where you're kind of seeing like and, and the writing that you're seeing here would all just be straight up visible in the normal version. And the detective version makes it a bit harder because those things are hidden. However, with a black light, they're plain as day. So give me a second. I'm gonna try to figure this out. All right, found myself a black light. Ooh, look at that. Here we go. Riddle me this. Oh, this is way cooler with a black light. Oh, and we got numbers here. <laughs> this is very sick. And then on back here, uh, there's some question marks and that I guess would lead me to the thing that I pulled out. And then let me guess, this one also had a, no, okay. I'll line up the keys. It even shows you uh, how the keys are lined up here. So I did that already. Those keys were lined up. Anything else on these cards here? No. Okay, well maybe this is the next one. Ah, uh, this has to do with this here. So three, six, three, four, six, nine. Those are the things we have. Three, four, six, nine. And my guess is this, which would be three, six. Because if we're, if we're looking at this here, it's basically the numbers that are here. And the numbers that we have there, three, four, six, nine. So this would be three, six. Nine, four. Three, six, nine, four should be the correct combination. Yep, it should work. Hmm, not sure what's going wrong there. It should be right. Three, six, nine, four. Oh, and then the question mark? No. The mechanism is busted because. That should just pop out. All right, well, it's not popping out. I don't know why, but there we go. And that, <laughs> I mean, unfortunately that is it. That is the end of it. And it kind of sucks that that last little box didn't spring open because man, that would have been just like a cool ending. That is cool though. That is, that is really heavy. Look at that. Pretty sweet battering.
And then we got this, which is a QR code on how to reset the box. With instructions. You solved all my riddles, well done, congrats. Bully for you, you're as smart as a bat. Though the game is now over, this isn't the end. Put everything back and challenge a friend. I don't think I need the, uh, I think I can reset it without anything, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, my final thoughts on this are, pr I mean, I knew that this wasn't going to be a challenge. And like I said, when major companies like this usually put out a puzzle box, they're not meant for puzzle enthusiasts. They're meant for everyone to sort of enjoy. So if you're just getting into puzzles, maybe this is good for you. Or if you're just a big fan of Batman in general and collect absolutely everything that they put out, then this is cool. Uh, but I did feel like the pieces were a little janky. Uh, the final reveal didn't really work. Everything seemed too easy. The only really cool thing was like the black light and I didn't even get the flashlight included. So that really bummed me out. And not to mention there's a lot of plastic packaging, which I'm not a big fan of. I think the only really, really cool thing is that Batarang, uh, which could be a cool keepsake, but those are my final honest thoughts about this. I don't think that this is a challenging puzzle. And I didn't, I didn't expect it to be, but I thought it would be at least a little bit more fun to solve. That's just my two cents, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I just realized something while editing. Um, I think I know why the last compartment didn't open up and I'm gonna show you why right now. Uh, I don't have to do everything, I just have to, this is 39, right? And then you got the cards in here. I forgot to put the cards in while doing the dial and my guess is that's why it got jammed. So it was actually my fault, not the puzzle's fault. So I apologize for the bad review at the end. Even though the puzzle was a little too simple, I think for a level eight or nine. Uh, boom, that's in. And now let's try it. Three, oops. Three, six, nine, four, and there we go. Now it opens. My bad, sorry about that, I forgot about that. I was editing and I was like, wait, what do these cards even have to do with anything while I was editing? And I was like, oh yeah, they were supposed to be in there and that's probably why the drawer didn't open. And I was right, so there you go.